Hey guys, Caitlin here, and for this episode, I want to talk about Holiday Heart. And Holiday Heart is a word described for atrial fibrillation that seems to pop up more around the holidays, and it's usually attributed to alcohol consumption. So around the holidays, people aren't working, they're consuming more alcohol than they would usually in celebrating the holidays, and atrial fibrillation can jump into rhythm with binge drinking or just a little bit of alcohol consumption in people that are predisposed to atrial fibrillation, or if you are slightly withdrawing from alcohol, atrial fibrillation can jump into rhythm right then. So let's get started. So there's a couple things you need to remember when it comes to atrial fibrillation, and I like to call these the pearls of AFib. And the first thing is recognizing atrial fibrillation on EKG as an irregularly irregular rhythm. And I'll show that to you in a second. And another thing is the most common complication of AFib is a stroke, but also any other type of clot that can cause mesenteric ischemia possibly. And then whether a patient needs treatment or not. And I like to use the chads vast score to kind of risk stratify these patients. And then the treatment options are usually anticoagulants. The irregularly irregular rhythm can be seen here on this EKG. And this means that the rhythm is irregular, aka the QRS is not consistently pulsing. In this EKG, you can see how the spaces between the QRS change, meaning that there isn't a consistent rhythm, aka this rhythm is irregularly irregular. This is another example of atrial fibrillation. As you can see, there are some QRSs that are closer together and others that are farther apart. So like I mentioned before, a common complication of atrial fibrillation is stroke. So since the heart is not beating regularly, blood clots tend to form inside the chamber of the walls and then get dislodged up into the aorta and then up into the internal carotids and into the brain. The next thing I want to talk about is the CHADS VAS score. And this is an acronym that you can use to risk stratify any of your patients with new onset atrial fibrillation. And based on this score, you can tell if they might need aspirin or they might need anticoagulation for the this atrial This is the CHADS VAS score. You can see that different parts of the CHADS VAS stand for different risk factors for atrial fibrillation. A score of zero means no anticoagulation was needed. A score of one means that you can use an antiplatelet or anticoagulation therapy for treatment. A score of two or greater highly recommends anticoagulation therapy for the treatment. If the patient is hemodynamically unstable, cardioversion is the recommended treatment plan. Amiodarone and procanamide, which are both antiarrhythmics, can be used instead of cardioversion. Cardioversion or antiarrhythmics can also be used if AFib started less than 48 hours ago. If not, heparin must be started and a transesophageal echo, or TEE, must be done to roll out blood clots in the heart before cardioversion or using antiarrhythmics. Other drugs like calcium channel blockers or beta blockers can be used for rate control of AFib in the emergency department. Also, keep in mind that some patients don't know they are in atrial fibrillation. They could have no symptoms at all, but then their EKG shows a heart rate of 150 beats per minute. And then there's other patients where they have 100 beats per minute, but then they have all these different symptoms of lightheadedness, palpitations, and they just feel really uncomfortable. Also, never forget that atrial fibrillation can be caused by more than just alcohol consumption or the withdrawal from alcohol. Myocardial infarctions can cause irregular rhythms, so make sure to get a troponin on anyone that comes in with atrial fibrillation. And thyroid disease is often a common cause of new onset atrial fibrillation, so make sure you order a TSH. And lastly, infections also cause atrial fibrillation, so order that CBC and get a white count on those patients. Thank you.